Well, we're out here at Hefner today. We're gonna uh, go out here and try to do a little bit of slip corking, catch some catfish, do a catch clean cook for y'all. So y'all, uh, y'all stay tuned. This is what we're using right here. We got uh, just a treble hook with a sponge on bottom. We got a... Uh, he's got a fish on down there. Pop's got him one. Yes, sir. Probably about a pounder, pounder and a half. Or... But That's anyways, what saying. anyways, what I was saying is we're just using a sponge right here with the treble hook and however many weights you need just a little clamp weights we got this uh slip cork you just a wooden cork lucky there. with two two uh eyes on it right here one here and one in the middle it's painted just acts as a bobber it's got this little bead on there and a little piece of rubber band or rope or whatever and that's your your depth right here you're gonna set this however high you want to fit or however deep you want to fish you just pull this up and then this little bead right here this little green bead this is what uh, stops the rope from going through the eye right there y'all can see that yeah and you just put to put you a little bit of this shad dip bait Little shad dip bait on there. Throw her out there. We usually catch them whenever uh, there's a lot more wind out here, so your cork will drift and move with the current, and your uh, scent from your bait will move around a lot more. But uh, we're still gonna give it a try, try to catch a few, and do a catch clean cook for y'all. So y'all stay uh, st stay watching the video. We're gonna try to get a couple in the basket for y'all. not rolling but might just missed him one miss one i'm gonna get y'all one just wait come on now maybe he'll be there keep this rolling Woo! Hey, Dylan, he just caught one. tearing him up down there oh, they're getting better. Make you a happy man right there. I missed him right there. I was looking down at my GoPro, seeing if it was on, and uh, I look up, my cork's coming up. Yeah, it's close. I think down there they've caught five or six down there, but we're just getting down here. So, pause uh, real quick. Pops also, pops, pops will show up. So, we got some fun that we do today, boys. Us is going out to Thunderbird or uh, a lake in Seminole. What's that lake called? Seminole Lake. Uh, huh? What's the name of it? I forgot. Uh, I don't remember. It's 
Sportsman? Sportsman, yeah. They're either going out to Thunderbird or Sportsman. Take Maddie out there and show her the new boat and stuff. When's he getting that live scope put on? Uh, I think next weekend he's getting getting the live scope put on. Is he just moving his big graph from the, that big Garmin he had on the at yeah. the steering wheel? Well, he had he took his 10 inch. Garmin. But he sold the boat with a smaller one. Yeah, he took his 10 inch Garmin off there, and he's gonna put it up at the front and use it for live scope. And then he already has another nine inch uh, Lowrance that's built in the console oh, yeah. on there. So he's just gonna keep that. Nice. And it's the uh, HDS Live, so you can put like a, a live scope on it, but it's for Lowrance graphs. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Lowrance are pretty nice. Yeah. It's got mapping. And uh, GPS, down down imaging, and all that stuff on there. It's pretty nice. Got one right here. We can do a catch, clean, cook on. I guess Pop just caught one right down there. Got a basket of them down there. We got another basket down there. Got a few. Well, we're getting ready to leave Hafner. We came out here, got out here probably around 11.30 or so, and we caught two or three. All right, Mason, Mason's cork went under a couple times, but as we see, he did not catch fish today. But we're gonna get back to the house, clean them up, and we'll get to cooking, so we'll catch you guys back at the house. All right, fellas, we're back at the house. Uh, I'll show y'all how to clean these catfish or how I do it. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab them like this, right around the head, underneath this fin right here. I got an electric flay knife, and I'll just uh, go right behind this little bone right here. Flay down all the way to the spine, and then I'll turn my blade sideways and just flay all the way down until I get to the end of the tail and flip it. This one's got eggs in it. Play right down that skin right there. Get all the skin off the backside. And then you'll have this uh, little rib section right here. You just take your knife and cut it right along this edge right here. Cut this off. And bang. Got your good, good clean piece of meat. Play. Fresh. See, this one's got eggs in it. She's pregnant, spawning. They're in the rock, spawning right now. I'm gonna do it again. Just go right here, butt it up against this little bone right here, and flay down to the spine. Turn your your knife sideways and just flay all the way down until you hit the end of the tail and flip it. Try to go underneath that fin right there. Your tail, flip it over, and then flay right down the skin. And just cut the rib section out just like this. That's no good. Got your good flay right there. And repeat.
Looks like you've done this a couple times. Maybe a time or two. gonna clean up all the, the flays that we got it's got like this silver skin on there we're gonna cut all this silver skin off here and any extra skin that we didn't get off with the electric flay knife or any of the red meat usually the bigger fish they'll have like a strip of red meat inside uh, the middle of the, the flay right here and just take your knife and cut cut the little section out in the middle it'll make your uh, meat taste a lot better or any other bones that are left in the uh, filet, just cut it out, trim it out. Just cut this off. And just turn your knife sideways and try to get all this silver skin off. Like that, that one's pretty good right there. Don't have any silver skin on it. Not real red. Same thing with this one. There you go. All we're doing is soaking them in milk so that the, uh, we're gonna fry them up with some, uh, we're just gonna take some Doritos and uh, mush them up and, and just put it all around the edge of this. And then this milk is just gonna help that stick to it a little bit better and give it a little bit better flavor. Well, you're just gonna get your uh, filet that you cleaned up and take it out of the milk. We got a bunch of uh, Doritos crushed up right here. We're just gonna set the uh, filet right here, crunch it down into the Doritos, flip it over, try to get a bunch of these Doritos stuck all on it. Then we're gonna drop it in the grease. We got the grease uh, in the pan up to 350. And this is just gonna act as a batter. Soak up all that moisture and it'll stick on there better. We're just gonna take this, drop it right in here. Turn it down a little bit. This place is too hot. Well, we got these uh, fish in here frying up. This is the first time I've ever tried this, so we'll see how it turns out. It looks like the uh, Doritos are going to burn a little too fast before the uh, actual fish gets cooked. So it's going to look a little black. We got to turn the grease down a little bit. So we'll see how they turn out. Give it a test try. I have to take these off here. They look like they're pretty, pretty good and cooked. Take these off. 
Put them on here and let them cool down for a minute. And uh, we're gonna let these cool down and we'll get right back with you. Well, we're gonna taste test these and see if they're worth doing again. Not too bad. A little different than normal. Really crispy? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Probably give them uh, about a three, three out of ten. Not this, not, not the greatest. It's not the greatest, but it's eatable. All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up here. We just got done uh, trying those fish, and they just weren't very good. Uh, well, we're getting ready to head back down to South Oklahoma. We're gonna go do a little bit of bullfrog hunting tonight, and see if we can't shoot some bullfrogs with this new 17 HMR. And uh, we'll do a little, a little bit of a catch, clean, and cook with those two. And uh, you guys just stay tuned and let us know what you guys want to see next in the comments. And don't don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. We uh, enjoy making these videos for y'all.